Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews and my unboxing and review for the brand new Samsung Galaxy Active Watch 2. Now I actually received this one back on September 27th, so I've been testing it for a few days now and I wanted to not only show you guys the main features of it, but give you my opinion on whether I think it's worth the purchase. And if you're wondering why I received this with a wireless battery charger, it's because I did pre-order this at the beginning of September and this was actually included with the watch, so there was no extra cost for this item. And I'm going to get more into the details of the charger a little bit later on in the video. Now the one that I ended up purchasing was the upgraded stainless steel version in a 44 millimeter case which included Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and GPS tracking. Now you can also purchase this with the LTE functionality but for my purposes it wasn't really required as I always have my smartwatches paired to my phone anyways. However, if you are an LTE user, then you're going to be happy to know that you can at least use the Active 2 for this purpose, as it was not an option in the original Galaxy Watch Active. Okay, the other thing you're going to notice here as I unbox it is that I ended up going with a brown strap and a gold case combination. And the reason I decided to change things up this time is because my previous smartwatches have either been an all black or the multi-toned black and silver combination. So I thought I would go for the gold finish on this one and you know what, I'm really happy with it. This combination definitely gives the watch a more classy and luxurious look and it's going to be a great one to wear around the office or even for more formal occasions. And the brown strap it comes with is pretty good, it's comfortable and it comes with a clasp that matches the case so it all works well with the watch although I probably will change up my bands depending on my activity level. And besides the portable charger, the watch also comes with its own wire charger which is small, it's light, and it's very portable in itself compared to the much larger wire charger that the original Active Watch came with. Now I have to admit that when Samsung announced that they were releasing the Active Watch 2, I was pretty skeptical because it had only been about six months ago that Samsung released the original Active Watch. And yes, Samsung has added a few new features on this updated version, but I'm going to be brutally honest here by saying that if you already have the first Active Watch, then I personally don't think it's worth it for you to spend the extra cash on this one. However, that being said, if this is your first leap into the smartwatch world, then this is a great one to start out with, especially if you prefer a all smooth glass display, which of course is bezel-less, although on the Active 2 model here, there is kind of a hybrid version built in because there is a touch bezel which mimics a mechanical one as you feel a vibration as you scroll across the options. And I really like the feel of this feature. It's very intuitive, it's easy to use, easy to move through all those menus and settings, and that small vibration or click is more satisfying than just using that touch display, which was the only option available on the original Active Watch. And the other advantage that this one has over the first Active Watch is that you can now get this in two different sizing options. You still have the smaller 40 millimeter size available, but the added 44 millimeter should appeal to more men out there or those that have larger wrists. Another new feature is that you get a built-in ECG, and I believe this was added really to compete with the Apple Watch, although unfortunately this feature is not yet active here, and I did speak with Samsung about the ECG, but they could not give me a timeline as to when the function will be available. So although this is disappointing, it's not really surprising because when the Active Watch launched it had blood pressure monitoring, but this also was disabled initially and was only activated about two months after the release, so we'll have to wait and see what happens with this ECG. Now in addition to this, you also get some extended fitness features. There's around 39 different workout types, plus it now auto detects swimming. So if you are a swimmer, then you're going to be happy to know that this does come with the IP68 water resistant rating, which means you can use this to track all your swimming. And in terms of heart rate tracking, well this one should definitely be more accurate over the first Active Watch because you now have 8 sensors on the Active 2 versus the 4 sensors that you had on the previous version. 
Now I actually bought the 40 millimeter active watch when it came out earlier this year as it was a birthday gift for my wife so the smaller size definitely suited her wrists and even Samsung stated that they were focusing on women consumers with this first release but for this active 2 I decided to go for the larger size as it's something I really wanted to start wearing on a daily basis and although it is smaller by 2 millimeters than the 46 millimeter Galaxy watch, the Active 2 definitely looks and feels good against my wrist, although keep in mind that I would not consider my wrist to be large by any means. So regardless of your gender, if you are unsure of which size to go with, then I recommend you go into the store that carries both versions so you can try them out for yourself. And as I mentioned at the start, I did decide to order the upgraded and more durable stainless steel case over the aluminum version. And yes, there is a slight weight increase because of the material, but I plan on using this every day, including for working out. So I wanted to have something more solid and durable. And honestly, the difference in weight is so small that it really isn't even noticeable anyways. Okay, now let's talk about battery power because the original active watch only lasted about a day before having to recharge it. But remember, this was also based on the smaller sized case as was only available in that 40 millimeter version. And depending on what you're using this for, such as working out, maybe you're playing Spotify from the device, and you're using that GPS for tracking, then your battery power is going to take a hit. However, I have the 44 millimeter version here and using the features that I just mentioned, I'm happy to say that I'm getting between two and two and a half days of use before having the recharge, which is actually pretty close to my Galaxy watch, which is averaging around three days of use before needing a recharge. Okay, and just another quick comment about the wireless and portable battery charger. Well, when I pre-ordered the watch off the Canadian Best Buy website, this was a free bonus that came with the Active 2. So for those of you in Canada, I wanted to let you know that I did a quick check on the website again, and it appears that this offer is still available for some models. Although, keep in mind that this could end at any time, so if you are in Canada and want the charger as well, then I wouldn't delay in putting in an order right now. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on this smartwatch? Well, if you are a fitness lover and you like the smooth and clean look of a bezel-less display, then the Active 2 is a good option to choose from because you now have a larger display as an option, which also means better battery life. Plus, there's also that new and more durable stainless steel case available, and the LTE connectivity is now also an option. Just remember though, that if you do want that larger size and the premium case, then you are gonna pay for it because the premium model with all those bells and whistles is gonna run you around 450 US dollars versus the 40 millimeter aluminum base model, which starts at around $279. So depending on what your purpose is for a smartwatch, the Active 2's updated size and functionality, along with that sleek modern look and style, definitely makes it a very attractive and viable option in the smartwatch market today. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.